Hello friends, welcome to Daring Marana YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about propeller drop and how to measure the propeller drop and Propeller drop. The propeller shaft in the after peak tank is provided with inboard and outboard seats. We have to understand that the propeller shaft in the after peak tank it is provided with inboard and outboard seats. The seats contain natural lever or whitened lip seal, which seals against the cast iron propeller as shaft. The seal contains natural rubber and whitened lip seal, which seal against cast iron propeller shaft. After few years, it creates grooves on them and natural losses sealing, and seawater easily finds its way inside. After a few years, this grooves creates there will be loosing and uh, lose the sealing effect after a certain few years. So the seawater easily finds its way inside. So this reduces the lubrication effect and creates wear in the bronze liner. Okay. So there will be enough clearance. The shaft will come down by a certain amount because of the propeller weight itself. This drop in the propeller shaft is termed as propeller drop. Okay. The propeller shaft in the RTP tank is provided with inboard and outboard seals. And these seals contain natural rubber or weightened lip seal. This seals against the cast iron propeller shaft. After a few years, it creates dews on them and natural losses sealing. Sea water easily finds its way inside. This reduces lubrication effects and creates wear in the bronze liner. Now there is enough clearance. The shaft will come down by certain amount because of propeller weight. This drop in the propeller shaft is termed as propeller drop. How to measure the propeller drop? This propeller drop is measured using poker gauge. Using poker gauge, we can measure the propeller drop. Usual propeller drop is equal to 1 mm per 160 mm shaft diameter. Usual propeller drop is equal to 1 mm per 160 mm shaft diameter. Water cooled bearing clearance is equal to 8 mm. Water cooled bearing clearance will be 8 mm. And oil cooled bearing clearance will be 2 mm. Oil cooled bearing clearance will be 2 mm. Okay. How we measure the propeller drop measurement procedure? Propeller drop measurement procedure. So, the poker gauge is placed between last and second last tail tube seal. That means after the other propeller. This poker gauge is placed between the aft and second last tail tube seals. Okay. The reading is taken every dry dock and recorded. In every dry dock, we will take the reading and we will record it. And hole is provided on the top of seal, which is closed by a plug. There will be hole, which is provided on the top of seal, which is usually closed by a plug. Then we will remove the plug and poker gauge is inserted and reading is taken. Okay. Then we will remove the plug and we will insert the poker gauge and reading is taken. Since the propeller is connected to a shaft and poker gauge measures how much shaft has dropped due to wear down of burning, bearing of the after shafters. So, the propeller is connected to a shaft and poker gauge will measure how much the shaft has dropped due to wear down. Thus, we will measure the propeller drop measurement. So, this pro um, propeller drop measurement using poker gauge means uh, the, the poker gauge will place between the last and second last stern tube seats and the reading is taken in every dry dock and we will record the reading. Here, a hole is provided on the top of seat and it is usually closed by a plug. So, we will plug is removed and poker gauge in certain reading is taken. <coughs> Since the propeller is connected to a shaft, the poker gauge measures how much shaft has dropped due to wear down of the bearing on, on which shaft turns. This is the measuring of propeller drop. Thank you.